Hey guys, what's going on? Honda Rider here, and I am bringing you another mod review video. And I apologize for not having a video out in over 10 days. One reason is I just got a new capture card. It's an internal capture card, mainly for my gaming, but I'm also using it right now to record Minecraft. So um, it's just a little more simpler. I don't have to go through fraps and external hard drive or er, capture card. But anyways, let's get on to the video. Uh, this is a new, it's kind of a unique mod. It is a fancy GUI or a fancy GUI. Um, this is by Michi302, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if it's wrong. It's apparently a continuation from the original one by Hanish, Hanasi, Hanasi, something like that. Anyways, um, basically, if you don't know what a GUI is, it's a graphical user interface. So it kind of changes the whole menu layout of Minecraft. So first I'm going to show you what it's like, and then afterwards I'll show you how to install it. So if I go into Minecraft here and open it up, everything looks normal so far and once I log in here you will notice the main screen is now changed so the kind of unique thing about this is you see it continue right here now this will continue on your last played world so that's kind of useful I mean it doesn't save a ton of time but it does save a little bit um, so if I hit that it's gonna take me straight into beautiful view is the name of the world I've been on recently then you have single player and um, it's just a little bit of change here with the buttons down here scroll through your list you can recreate certain worlds, create a new world, play it, rename, delete, all that good stuff. Um, then you have connect. I assume that's going to connect you to your most recent server. I'm not ex entirely sure on that. I haven't tried it. Um, I don't play multiplayer Minecraft very much. Then you have your multiplayer, which um, you know, kind of same thing as a single player, just the uh, buttons have changed. And then your friends. So if you have the friends overlay mod installed uh, this will list your friends right here and if you don't have it you can click open in browser and it's going to take you to download it and you have your texture packs and language and options all that good stuff so I'll just go ahead and go in and um, show you a little bit it's still pretty much the same thing when I hit escape it's uh, you have your options over here and as you just saw um, there's your basic options to change it and um, pretty simple now I don't necessarily know if I would uh, keep updating this mod but I mean I don't know it, it is nice I do like it it's kind of a little change and it's just it, yeah it just changes things up so you're not seeing the same old thing every time so it's kind of cool now we're gonna get into installing it so it's really simple to install um, first you're gonna download it it's gonna come in a zip file uh, just open it up in any unzipping or zip program so I have WinRAR once you open up you're going to see all these files now you're going to need to put them in your minecraft jar file now to get to that i'm on windows 8 so it's a little different but if you're on windows 7 or windows vista or whatever you're on go to the search or i mean to start and then you have the little search bar and in that search bar you are literally just going to type let me get this going here what i have right here percent app data percent um i recommend just creating a shortcut to that folder on your desktop or something so you uh don't have to do it every time but just hit OK or I hit OK and then you're going to be in the roaming folder and right on the top you should have your Minecraft folder so go into that <coughs> excuse me go into your bin folder and then you're gonna see your Minecraft executable jar file now you're just gonna right click and open whoops right click on it and open it with um, your zipping program so I'll do WinRAR again and what you're most likely going to have is a folder in here. It's all caps. It's meta-inf. And so you're going to click on that, delete it. And then you're simply going to drag all the files from the uh, mod zip straight into your Minecraft jar file. So we'll do that here. Boom. Now I already have it, so it's probably going to ask me to replace it. Um, oh, and make sure you have Minecraft closed out of the background, otherwise I won't be able to do it. But that's it, guys. Real simple. Check it out. It's for Minecraft version 1.4.7, so the most recent one, as of this video is being uploaded. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Rate the video. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.